returning eight-year-old shoes to REI. Hey guys, Steven here with My Life Outdoors. So REI has one of the best return policies on the planet. You can return just about anything for any reason up to a year after you buy it. And it used to be even better than that. They used to have an unlimited lifetime return policy where you return anything at any time for any reason. That all changed about eight years ago when they went from a lifetime to a one year return policy, which is still pretty good. But that got me wondering, what about items purchased before they made the change? Could you still return it under the old policy since that's the terms under which you bought it? Well, I had to find out. So I went through my purchase history and I found a pair of shoes that I purchased just before the policy changed. And I'm gonna try and return them and see what happens. So I went online to try to initiate a return and normally what you would do is you'd go online and you would find the item in your purchase history and you would just click start a return. But suspiciously, REI is only allowing me to access the last seven years worth of returns. Thankfully, I had the idea for this video over a year ago and I downloaded the receipt then. But they also have this online return form where you can simply type in the order number. So I tried that, but when I do, it says we don't seem to recognize that order number, which is super suspicious. It means it's time to call REI. Okay, so I just got off the phone with REI and very nonchalant-like asked to start a return. I gave my order number and once again, the system didn't seem to recognize the number and I was getting even more suspicious but they offered to try to help me locate the purchase and ask for my purchase date. <laughs> Which now that I think about it was April the 1st, 2013. And I started to wonder, does she think this is a joke? But to her credit, she didn't react to the date and actually was able to help find my purchase history. And I don't know how or why, but for some reason the order number that I printed off over a year ago was wrong. <laughs> but she gave me a new order number. So I said, I can initiate a return with this order number? And that's when she was like, well, because of how old the item is. And I was like, here we go. Now, before I go any further, I wanna talk a little bit about why you shouldn't do what I'm doing. If you've ever been to an REI garage sale, then you have seen some of the returned gear for sale. I remember a couple years ago at an REI in Dallas, looking at a pair of shoes that had been worn out to the point that the soles had completely separated from the shoes. It honestly looked like someone had hiked the entire PCT in these shoes and then returned them. And on the tag, it gave the reason for the return. It said, too small, which is ridiculous. The whole idea behind the co-op part of REI is that you, you aren't just a customer. You are part owner, even if your share is minuscule. But the hope and the idea is that you want this company to succeed because you believe in what they are doing. You believe in, in the gear that they sell, the, the community that they are making, the environmental practices that they are taking, and the reinvestment of profit back into the outdoor community. If you truly want to cooperate with REI, then you won't take advantage of them <laughs> like I am because you are in this with them. The forest is made up of many trees. So back to my attempt to return. She put me on hold while she consulted another department. And honestly, I had no idea what to expect and began to wonder there on the phone, what do I do if this return is denied? Do I argue with her? Do I demand to speak to a manager? Do, do I contact my lawyer? I was wondering, how deep do I really wanna dig this hole? But to my surprise, she came back on the line and said that they were going to email me a prepaid shipping label to return the gear. Now, there's still a chance that this could get denied once they receive the gear, but why would they go to all that trouble just to ship it back to me? So I packed up the shoes, sent them off, and anxiously watched my email. And a few days later, <laughs> they approved it. Eight-year-old shoes, and I got a full refund. Now you're probably wondering, if I'm saying don't do this, then why am I doing it? Well, it's not about the money. It's about investigating this company that I am in cooperation with to see if they are who they seem to be, at least on this small scale. And the thing that I can tell you is that every step of the way through this process and with every interaction that I've had with them over the last 10 years, they have exceeded my expectations. So it's not about the money. In fact, I, I tried to contact REI to give the money back, but they didn't respond to my request. I, I was trying to give them money and they wouldn't respond. So instead, I'm, I'm going to give the money to you to reinvest into REI. I was refunded $76.49, and so we are going to give away an REI gift card for that exact amount. Can you purchase gift cards for uneven amounts like that? We are going to give away at least $76.49 to someone viewing this video today. If you want a chance to win this gift card, like the video, make sure that you are subscribed and drop me a comment below that simply says, I want to win. 
And then two weeks from today, we will randomly pick a winner to receive the gift card. And who knows, maybe you can pick up an old beat up pair of running shoes at an REI garage sale. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed, like and comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.